Hi everyone and welcome. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to share this look with you guys. Um, it's for Valentine's Day. It's really easy to do, so I know you guys can do it. Um, this is the first episode of my series for Valentine's Day. It's going to be like different hairs, hairstyles, makeup, DIYs, and um, outfits. So I'm so, so, so excited, and I think this is going to be a great look to start off this series. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so as always, I'm going to be moisturizing my face. I want my face to feel more hydrated. So right here, I'm using my spoolie and my Milani Dip Brow in Brunette number 4. And I'm just shaping up my brows so they can be perfect for this look. Now I'm taking my Fit Me Concealer and just applying that on my lids. Basically everything that I'm saying, I say in all my previous videos. If you've missed any of my other videos, then please check them out. <laughs> now I'm taking the color Burnt Orange from my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just working this in my crease. I've used this in other videos and I just think it's an amazing transition color. Now I'm going in with this color right here, Red Orchid. It's like a burnt reddish color and I just wanted to use it to smoke it up a little bit and since it's Valentine's Day, I thought this color was the best one. Now I'm taking this shade right here, it's a Vermeer. I love this color, it's either this one or Primavera, so it's up to you guys. Primavera is more of like a gold tint to it while this one is a light pink. Obviously I want to choose this one because of Valentine's Day. I think it's so appropriate for this day and look. Now to add some more drama, I'm going to be adding some falsies. This is from the Nicole Guerrero collection. It's sold at Walgreens and BAM! Look at me now. And of course, going back to moisturizing, I'm going to be doing my face routine right now. my L'Oreal True Match foundation. I am just dotting this with my fingers all over my face. Then I'll be taking a stippling brush to kind of buff it all out. highlighting I am just highlighting underneath my eyes bridge of my nose upper lip and my forehead contouring as well cheekbones nose and now with a damp beauty blender I'm going to buff my highlight and contour all out I personally think it works better with a damped beauty blender rather than a dry one only because then um, it kind of takes out all the excess makeup off. I just think it looks so much better. So now I'm taking my mascara and I'm just going to apply a nice coat on my bottom lashes. Again with this palette, I am taking the color Tempera and this I am using as a highlighting shade. So I'm putting it in my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. Now I'm taking my Milani blush for a rosy gold touch to this look. And we can't forget about lips. <laughs> I am first going to be taking my Essos Lip Balm and I'm going to be taking my NYX lip liner. Now 
Now I'm taking the Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick and I absolutely love this lipstick. It is in the color Naked Talon. It is so pretty and I think it's the best lipstick for me. Now I'm just taking the gloss So Cute from the Kylie Cosmetics collection. Here I'm taking my illuminating palette from Wet n Wild to highlight my face. For a drugstore product, it actually gives a really nice glow. And that concludes our video guys, my first episode for the Valentine's Day series. I am so excited that I shared this look with you guys and please do not forget to subscribe. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, then please do so. Until next time, bye!